What's going on guys? This is Lior and welcome back to my channel. Now in this video, I'm excited to give you guys another project overview. This is one of our newest projects we just closed on recently. It is a four unit building in the city of Malden, which is about 15 or 20 minutes outside of Boston if you're not from the area. So I'll give you guys all the details about how we found the deal off market, how we structured all of our financing, our business plan, and of course the numbers behind the acquisition. So if that's something of interest, make sure you stay tuned. Now, before I get into the meat and potatoes of the video, two super quick things, guys. Number one, if this is your first time on my channel, first of all, welcome. Second of all, make sure you smash that subscribe button for me. I'm gonna be putting out tons of new videos every single week about my project walkthroughs, tips and strategies for rental property investing, and everything in between. Now, in terms of this actual project, so I'm standing right outside of our building right here. It is a four unit building. And the way I'm gonna break this video down is I'll give you guys the details about how we found the building, how we financed it, our business plan, and of course, the numbers behind the purchase. So let's get right into it with how we actually found the deal, right? So this was an off-market deal that we found. And the way we found it, pretty straightforward, is actually direct mail. Right, so I use one of the software companies I use, Deal Machine. You know, they help me streamline my direct mail process. I'm not affiliated with them. I just think they're a really solid tool to use. And you know, I've been using them for a little bit. And like anything guys, direct mail is a volume game, right? You gotta be doing a lot of direct mail and you have to do it consistently over a long period of time. You know, the first four or five months of this campaign, I wasn't getting a ton of hits, but after month five, six, I started getting quite a bit of calls. This was one of them and it just ended up being a perfect timing, right? The seller said they've been thinking about selling for a while. My postcard showed up for like a fourth or fifth time and they're like, you know what? Let's give Leo a call and see what we can do here, right? So really, really important for you guys watching this. Stay consistent out there and keep doing things over a long period of time if you want results with them. So now that you know about how we found the deal, let's actually talk about what the deal was. So as I said, it's a four unit building and our business plan here is gonna be to gut rehab basically the entire building. So we're gonna essentially take this down to the studs and put everything brand new like we do for a lot of our projects. So it's gonna have new plumbing, new electrical, we'll reframe it, new insulation, board and plaster, blah, 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 bum, and do the whole job essentially from scratch. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour. Let's go inside and actually check out some of the units. I'll show you guys the top floor, which has actually already been demoed to the studs. So one of the units that we're gonna check out now, the seller actually already got it to the studs, as you'll see in a second. And you know, the reason they did that is they thought about doing the project themselves, but then realized what a headache it would be and decided to just sell it and get rid of it. So as you can see, guys, everything's already got to the studs. Right now we're standing in the living room, kind of saved us a little bit demo cost actually, which is really nice. The kitchen, which I'm gonna walk to over here, is gonna be on this floor. So there's gonna be a pretty nice kitchen right here. Uh, we'll put, uh, you know, we'll design it really nicely. I already talked to our architect, they're already working on it. We've got a bedroom on this floor as well. We got two more bedrooms upstairs. So this unit will be a three bedroom and one and a half bath. The unit downstairs is gonna be a two bed, one bath. And basically same thing on the other side of the building. We're gonna have a three bed, one and a half on top and a two bed, one bath downstairs. Now, in terms of how we actually put this deal together and structured it, I'll give you guys the details. So like a lot of our projects here for our mortgage component, or I call it the debt, we used a local community bank that gave us a commercial loan, right? So the bank gave us 75% of the acquisition price, so 75% loan of value on the acquisition, Plus they financed 100% of our construction. So they're financing all of our construction costs. And actually on this one, we got a little bit interest reserve, which was really nice, which means our first number of interest payments due to the bank, we're borrowing them from the bank as well. So it kind of helps us with liquidity, helps us get going with the project and use all of our funds to move everything right along. For the down payment, as I do in a lot of my deals, I basically partnered up with a private investor, right? And the private investor provided the funds that I needed for the down payment, as well as what I call the soft costs, right? So if you guys don't remember from my other videos, typically soft costs or anything like architect payments. Over here, we're gonna have to do surveying, plot plans. We're gonna obviously have some carry costs while we're doing the construction and renovation. So all of those things we calculated, know what the total amount is, and we borrowed that in addition to the down payment from our private investors who came in the deal and essentially ventured in with us. 
So now that you guys have the overview of how we structure the deal, how we found it, our business plan, right? We're gonna be doing a full gut rehab. Let's talk a little bit about the actual numbers behind the deal. So we ended up buying the building for $740,000. Now our construction budget came out to about 375 or so. You know, rounding it up, you can say we're gonna be all in at around 1.15 million. Throw in a little bit of soft costs in there. We'll be somewhere all in between 1.15 and 1.2. Now, the building after it's completely gutted and renovated is actually gonna be worth quite a bit. It should be worth north of 1.42 million. I think personally closer to 1.45 since it's gonna be literally all brand new. So you can see there's a real fair amount of equity to be dealt here. Plus, once it's all fully stabilized and leased out, the cash flows here are gonna be really nice, right? We've got a three bedroom unit, a three bedroom unit, a two and a two. After doing the numbers and looking at how it's gonna perform, we're actually gonna have really, really nice cash flow. You know, rent in this particular city in Malden are really, really strong. So we should be generating good yield and created a fair amount of equity at the same time. So hopefully that overview of the project made sense. As you guys can probably tell, I am super excited about this project. This is gonna be another bread and butter kind of gut rehab turned into a rental property. I will of course keep you guys posted as we progress. Once we get construction going, I'll do another video update, but this is just another fantastic rental property play for us following the Burr model, right? That bigger pockets and a lot of people really preach about. So. Obviously, if you guys have any questions about any of them, make sure you put them in the comments below and I will definitely, definitely help you out.